Hey, hello, and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today I am making a live tutorial for you. But don't worry, it will be on replay. So if I'm not responding, it's probably because you're watching it on replay. So I'm so glad to have you today. Today we're making a pom-pom key fob and chain. So it's like a key chain, a key fob, so you can hold on to your keys and then have a little claw thing to um, clip it onto a purse or a bag or whatever. So today I'm going to do a live tutorial for you and I'm going to be flipping the camera and show you what's going on, what I have. I'm going to wait for people to join us for a moment and then we are going to get started. Now it is pom-pom week here. There is a big old pom-pom party. Have you been invited to the pom-pom party? Here's your invitation. <laughs> So I am, uh, move that light out of the way. Woo, that's bright. Uh, so I am, um, I'm here at my home studio and I wanted to make some, some presents, some stuff that's um, easy to make for a quick gift for someone. Now I'm going to show it, you know, slower and everything. And of course you're going to have some shopping involved, but really it's a quick gift. I'm also going to be making live demonstrations um, the next day and the day after that. So we'll have three days in a row with pom-pom parties, <laughs> making things, adding them to projects. And then we'll have a blog wrapping it all up and you can find it all in one little thing. So. If you like what you see today, be sure and share it so it, find, it shows its way on your page, on your own profile, so you'll be able to find it again. Uh, if you see this on YouTube later, be sure and uh, save it or share it. And uh, as, click subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber and uh, get those notifications so you can receive um, notifications when I'm on live or I have a, a video come out. Uh, I am ready to um, get started. Just so you know, when you do share it, later on we will edit it and add the link in so you'll be able to find that blog for easy reference. There are links in the description of the video and it has a link to this big pom-pom party and <laughs> all these cool great ideas on yarnspirations.com and um, there's different pattern references, ways to utilize pom-poms into your work like what do I put pom-pom on the answer is really anything <laughs> and make it with anything uh, but also we want to um uh, we want you to be able to see what products we are good at kisses wanted you to be able to see what products um, I'm using because I am going to use some different things other than yarn today and if you want to know where to get it or something similar there are links that go directly to those products or similar colors and those are affiliate links for me they don't cost you anything extra but it helps support the channel at good knit kisses well without further ado thank you so much for coming on I can't wait to get started here comes Comes your live demo right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to flip this camera and we will see. All right, let's shine some light on the subject. <laughs> so we have these pom poms that come in these little boxes. This is from Bernat and it is a faux fur pom pom. It is made out of acrylic and then there's polyester filling. So while it looks like a fur it is not and you can hand wash it so I've just pulled this out of the box and then you just take this tag off and that had that care instruction that I was talking about hand wash hang to dry pretty simple stuff okay so you're gonna need a pom-pom or you can make yourself a little pom-pom like this <laughs> Make yourself a pom-pom. I get the faux fur one. They're really fun and they're durable, especially for what we're making today. Again, we are making a pom-pom key fob and chain. So what I have here, let's go over what I've got. I've got a small rubber band. I'm using a black one that doesn't have that um, a hard seam in it. And it's a, it's a very small one. I'm actually going to double it over and do that. So if you have one that's even smaller, I wouldn't use a regular elastic. This one has like a nylon cord around it. And then we have some needle uh, threaders if you don't have one already in a sewing kit. And uh, a sewing kit with some needles. This has a, um, this is a wide-eyed tapestry needle. It's actually, you can see it from the side, it's called a, um, a sax needle. Like, you know, you can sew up a sack. And then there's this long one here, and this is a sail needle. And I've seen people recently trying to find these. It has a bent edge on it, and it's flat on the end so it can really get into your stitches. So we'll use one of these today. You don't have to get this, but 
they're there if you need them these are the main things that you're going to need here so those are tools and then this is part of the what's going to be your uh, keychain here i have a lobster claw okay so this is a keychain with bead pin and it's what i call a lobster claw it like opens up like this but there's two of them in here and what's also interesting about this is it also comes with a jump ring on it and then it has this long piece here so we'll have to take that off uh, but for now, you can leave it on and um, use that as extra um, flash, okay? So I'm not going to add anything on to this bead chain here today, but know that you can do that. And I like this because it came all together with the jump ring. So if you need to buy this separate, it's going to look like this. It's going to have this little keychain. That This is the jump ring, and then it has this little claw thing. And then this has a little swivel head on it, okay? So that way, if you put your keys on it and stuff, it can move around. The other thing I got was a chain. Now this one's really interesting because, oh, and let me put in my, um, I'm gonna put the links into the comments. It's a big long thing. It's basically what was set up, up at the top here. That way you've got it. Okay, so this is a, actually a bracelet. It's a seven inch bracelet for charms and I'm using it in a different way. So let me just open this up. So we are going to, whoops, we need some scissors. You also need scissors. <laughs> all right, so I just have this simple chain here, all right? And then it has this, one of those little lobster claw things. This is what a lobster claw is. It just opens up like that. Um, you can also find things like that in findings in a craft store. Usually these are in the jewelry section and all these were purchased at joanne.com uh, or, or in a Joanne store and we've got all the links um, for you um, either on Amazon or other places um, or Joanne's. Um, and then we've got uh, this one right here that's from Burnett which is that faux fur pom pom. So we've got our chain and then we need our lobster claw and jump ring and we're going to make one today so this is what one set looks like all right so this is what i'm calling the the jump ring okay this is for you to put your your key on okay and then this little thing here this just twists off and then you load up some beads on it for decoration so you can have that in addition to it so i'm not going to load any beads on it today it's pretty self-explanatory how you do it and then this little part here swivels right so um the um lobster claw just functions that way and then you can clip it on a purse or bag you can also buy bigger ones okay and then i'm going to need my needle And I'm gonna need a threader. I actually needed a new threader for myself, so I bought a new one. Okay. Okay, and then I've got my, um, this is my little um, hair elastic that's small. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is take my tail from my pom-pom and thread my needle okay. and you, can you guys see okay make sure you've got enough light here okay so I'm gonna take this and I want to sew on my elastic so I'm gonna actually double this over okay and then go through here like this and pull this on down to the base. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna allow it to have a little bit of stretchiness so that if you just pulled really hard on it, um, it wouldn't just snap. So this is just gonna give us a little bit of give. And I'm working with this sail needle because it's got this flat end on it and I'm gonna be, get it, be able to get into this um, polyester that's in here. Oops, I just pulled that off. Let's do that again. See, this is why we need to do this. So if you've got yarn, this threader is going to um, work well for you versus using thread. This has this is thread on this particular pom-pom, but if you had, um, if you're working with the thick yarn, it might not be able to go through. So that's the reason why I was saying that you needed a threader. All right. So I've doubled this over and now I want to go into it. Right about where it came out, I'm gonna put this flat part in and just sew. Ok, 
Okay. And I really am pulling hard, so let's just do that one more time. Mine's going to go through without the threader, I think. There we go. And notice I am doubling that over. And I'm just going underneath, and then I'm tilting this part here so that it goes in through it, so I don't have to keep moving my needle back and forth. All right. So I'm going to get it in there about three times around. And there's about five threads in this, uh, in this right here. It's in there really good. Okay, so then we're just going to go through one of these loops here. And tie this on. And I'm going to split my yarn between the two holes here. And then I'm going to tie it. So I've gone through one time to make a knot, and I'm going to go through another time, and then we'll tie a knot. Okay. A little hard to see with the um, fur maybe on camera, but um, I can see it for sure. So I'm just going to pull this to the side and then make a square knot. Okay. Clip that. All right, now that's nice and secure. So now what I wanna do is um, this is going to go, um, have a chain go through it. So we just put the chain through, all right? So it holds it like that. And then all I need to do is um, go through this part here on my lobster claw, not the jump ring, but the lobster claw. So it's gonna have this strong area here. And I just go on through and Oops. My big fingers. <laughs> okay. And put this on here like this. So you don't need any like jewelry tools on this unless your chain link, uh, unless you need to remove some chain links. So if I want to make that length um, shorter, I can. So look, I've got myself a nice sturdy key fob here and it's got a decorative piece on it. I can load it up with whatever colors and you could even change this out according to your mood. So now I have a pom-pom key fob and chain. What do you think? <laughs> load it up with your keys and some style clip that on your bag and go you can put that on your project bag and be able to find your keys no problem <laughs> you would find that real easy wouldn't you <laughs> well click that love button if you enjoyed the pom-pom key fob and chain I hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna have to find me some beads to load up on here wouldn't that be fun hey what if we put some buttons on it <laughs> I wonder if we could load some uh, some buttons on here. What do we think? Y'all want me to do a random thing <laughs> and load them on there? It looks like this. It um, pulls out like that. And uh, you could use them for beads or buttons. Let's see. I've got a few buttons. I've got some red. I got some purple. This is fun. And you could this, this is like utilitarian. We'll see what fits. <laughs> How about we do that? We'll slide on. Look at that. How fun is that? Oh, that one's not gonna go. We'll do this one. I love going to see the uh, all the fun buttons at the stores. All 
All right. Well, it doesn't want to do it. <laughs> I have lots more buttons in other places too. So this is really, really cool that you can put this on here. Anyway, that's a fun little thing to do, <laughs> right? Too cute, too cute. Who needs who needs beads when you've got buttons, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm gonna put that on according to my mood. <laughs> anyway, I am um, so excited about it. Um, it looks like we're getting some comments on here. People think they look like Tribble. What was this Star Trek? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Let me flip the camera and say hello. Hello, hello. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Did you guys enjoy it? Thank you so much for joining me. Was it like so cool and random? Do you want to see another one tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll be doing another one and then Friday we'll do, be doing one as well and then we'll have a wrap up blog and have everything all in one post. Again, the links are in the comments and also in the description. If you click on a link, it helps support Good Knit Kisses and it doesn't come out of your pocket. It's just a convenience thing for you and a thank you to us if you use it. <laughs> But click on that first link for the pom pom initiative, um, the pom pom stuff from Joey uh, from uh, Yarnspirations because they've got a ton more of ideas to use pom poms on. So I can't wait. Um, tomorrow at 12 noon central, you'll be able to catch me again. And um, if you're watching this on the replay, thank you so much. I'm glad you joined me. Be sure and check out the next video, and we'll update the description with all three links so you can find them again later. I hope you guys have a great day and happy knitting and crochet and crafting. Bye-bye.